Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Alright you guys, let's see what we got going on for Leo. Leo, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. If you like, I'll get on with my readings. Hit that like button for your girl, okay? Alright, so Leo, we are going to get a tea reading. Uh, we'll probably do another one uh, this weekend, another a different kind of reading. Let's see. I have one on here, but I need to, I got to edit it. Mm -hmm. It's over an hour long, and I don't want to listen to the whole <laughs> reading so I can edit it. I'm just saying. So I'm sorry, y'all. All right, let's see. What's going on? What is going on around Leo? Keep in mind that this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. If you like how I get on with my readings, hit that like button for your girl, okay? All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. What's happening? What's the vibe? All right, and I'm not going to take reversals in this deck because most of them are in reverse. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. Give me four, please, for Leo. All right, Leo, self-love, self-care. Absolutely. Could be doing a lot of that right now. Absolutely. Do whatever it is that you want to do. Leo, you got some, you get, what's with obsession? Are you obsessing over something? Somebody's going through some emotional pain here, okay? Possibly sending flying monkeys around you. What is going on? All right, Leo. But you, as always, your ancestors are on the job. Here they come to save the day. I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Give me messages, please, and thank you. All right, so expectation here and the priest. The priest wanted to come out in reverse. What's going on here? All right, I think I am going to clarify these one by one. That's what we're about to do. All right, so let's see. All right, give me messages here. Give me one for healer. All right, self-love here. Healer is on the bottom of the deck. That's why. Sorry. Give me one for self-love. Star seed here. All right. So, enamor. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to put it to you like this. Some of you are in this energy like, you know what? I am in love with the skin that I am in. Okay? Uh, being appreciative of yourself, loving on you, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. You understand what I'm saying? Even the crazy parts of your life right now, you're learning to embrace it, learning to be appreciative of it right about now. You know what I mean? Feeling good, looking good, smelling good, I'm just saying. Not letting anybody tear down your vibe here, sweetheart. One of the things, I just did a reading a few minutes ago, but I had somebody knock at my door, so I had to stop it. But one of the things that I was saying in the video there is that, sweetheart, you know, you might have a lot of people coming towards you, uh, you know, with a lot of BS and all kind of stuff. Don't let none of that get you down, okay? Don't focus on the negative. The way to change the direction of your life is focus on the positive, okay? It's not ignoring what's going on, but sweetheart, if it does not need to be addressed with your energy, then don't address it. Give it to God, let it go, okay? When you focus on negative things, you will definitely, um, you know, it will multiply. It will have babies. Check it out. You get up in the morning, you get out of the bed, you stub your toe, right? God darn it. Mm, that kind of sets the tone for your day. You get in the car, you get stuck in traffic or somebody slow gets in front of you or anything happens. You understand what I'm saying? You get stuck in the line at, at the store. That sets the tone for your day. Your attitude sets the tone for your day. A lot of times when we're impatient, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get stuck waiting all day. Notice how that has a domino effect, okay? So try to rewire your brain when you redirect your thoughts. When you rewire your thinking, you rewire your direction in life, okay? Some people wonder how, how so many people can manifest so many good things in their life. And it's funny because some people, oh, my God, they must be doing spell work. Or they're just so lucky. No, sweetheart. Uh, we don't let the adversity or trauma that we actually went through dampen our spirit here, sweetheart. We don't let it actually have us going to do malicious things to other people. You know what I mean? When you sow negative seeds, 
uh, the intent behind it, it actually takes root in you too. That's who you are, okay? When you're doing negative things to other people, when you're speaking negativity on other people and things like that, especially wishing bad on them, sweetheart, that's actually what's in your heart. So that's what you're going to manifest here, sweetheart, okay? So change that stinking thinking. Try not to focus on negativity. We're not doing no victim mindset. Oh, woe is poor as me. And all these people are coming against me. All the hell with that. Okay. People are going to be people and they're going to do what they're going to do. You got you and you got source. So depend on that. And look at what it is that you want to manifest here, sweetheart. Look at what you got to do to get it done. And be pleasant. All right. In, those, in doing that as well. And if it's taking a little bit longer than you think, don't get discouraged. Keep going. Okay. Do what you got to do, okay? I'm just saying it is what it is. If you want it, if you want it bad enough, you'll go get it, all right? If if you really want it, you, you won't give up on it. It is what it is, whatever that is for you. If it's that new job, if it's that career, if it's that degree, you understand whatever it is. If that's you building that business, you understand if you want to... to you know, say like if you didn't graduate high school or whatever, you want to go back to school and go get your, your GED or your diploma. I don't give a damn if you're 75 years old. Go do it. And don't let nobody make you feel shame about doing it, baby. It's better late than never. It is what it is. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're doing it when you're doing it, hey, it's not late. Apparently, if that door opens for you, maybe it was time, okay? You never know who's watching you and who you might inspire, okay? There's that. So all things are possible. So change that mindset and you'll change your direction. And like I said, somebody is focusing on loving the skin that they are in. Okay, I'm just saying. All right, and also embracing their purpose here as a star seed. All right, and somebody is just a nice, pretty nice damn person here. I like it. All right, so what is obsession here for Leo? What's going on with obsession? The facial expression on this chick always trips me out. All right. This is somebody that's trying to do death magic on you here. This is somebody here. They could have linked up with somebody here to try to uh, help them do this for you. Or to you, I should say. Uh, someone here is either really trying to, you know, cause your demise and they're really obsessed with doing this or ending something for you. That's sad. That's really sad. But anywho, all right, so somebody here is really committed to doing this, okay? Uh, this part, and you know what's funny is because somebody here possibly gets a kick out of this here as well. It, it's really kind of weird. But anyway, um, I think when Obsession came out, there was, yeah, there was emotional pain here. And then also flying monkeys. And I did put it back in the ancestors here. So it actually came out anyway. So your ancestors already know what's going on here. And also behind ancestors, I think it was protected. No, it was another card that I saw that had, I think, I forgot what it was. I pulled protected was behind here. So, Leo, you got somebody here that is obsessed with you. And, uh, yeah, they're... Uh, trying to do some spell work here either like i said to cause uh, a permanent ending with you or either something that you've got going on all right what is expectation here let's see someone here could have did some spell work and maybe they're waiting for something to happen all right somebody's waiting for some type of information message oh lord <laughs> some type of karma Give me one more for expectation. What is this message? Divinity. Uh-oh. Ooh-ooh. Ooh-ooh. Okay, so what I saw when message came out, poverty was on the end of the deck, on the bottom of the deck. So I asked, okay, one to know, is this hitting someone? And it is. 
Okay, so look, somebody is trying to end something for you over here with this obsession and death magic, but spiritual justice is being had here. Okay, it kind of looks like what someone here is actually trying to cause for you gets redirected back at them. Yeah, look at this. Why? Because they're e throwing you the evil eye. You're not doing anything to these people or this person. Ooh. Look, okay, I'm going to put it to you like this. Whatever it is that you're doing over here, minding your own damn business, okay, manifesting, doing whatever it is you got going on, you got somebody that's obsessed here, right? Trying to stop you. This is you. Then the obsession is crazy person over here. And then you have the karma come in, right? Divinity. Source. Yeah. The man ancestors. Like, uh, it ain't happening. Uh, karmic justice is coming in here. Okay? Why? Because they're trying to mess with a sweetheart. Okay? Someone that's not doing anything to them. You see the, you see the justice right there, right? You see you right there. You're protected, right? Someone here is right on your behind as they are here. You got the self-love, the star seed is taking care of self, doing your thing, walking in your purpose. You got the obsessed person right there behind you, right? There's karmic justice right there behind them, okay? Then you have karmic justice right here, which is right behind them. That's the card behind them. Then you have a sweetheart here. This is you, and this is this person right behind you here again, and guess who's behind them again? Karmic justice. So everything that this person tries to do for you or to you or about you or whatever it is, karma's right on that ass, not missing a beat, okay? And excuse the expression, but that's, exa that's exactly what it is. And why? Because this is a karmic fam. Literally, they are doing their job, honey. Okay, so that is really funny. So, uh, somebody might be expecting some spell work to happen for you or something to end for you, and they just might be getting a message. Message, all right. So, anywho, dang, all right. So, what's the breeze here? Dang, I mean, karma not getting away with nothing. All right, the priest here, look at this. All right, so the funny part is, is that the priest did come out in reverse. And like I normally don't take reversals in this deck. However, it did come to my attention. You could have uh, um, someone that is into dark spell work here. And that's what I was thinking when I first mentioned that card being upside down, right? This person, whoever has an obsession with you, they could be in a commitment. This could be two people in a relationship or a committed connection here. Two people committed to doing this to you. This could be a mature man, an older man who is not so mature or wise, or a masculine energy who is not that wise or smart, okay, or mature. All right, this person right here is also doing spell work on you, okay? So you have someone here that is trying to stop something for, uh, for you from growing. This is crazy. Look, I can't make it up. Destruction. But they're blocked. Okay? They're trying to stop something growing for you. Lord have mercy. My soul. Someone here could also be trying to affect your health here as well. All right. Anything else for self-love, star seed, emotional pain. Somebody wants to see you hurt here. Look at this. Somebody is lusting after what you have. This is a chronic masculine here as well. Golly. Give me more for obsession and commitment. So you may have one or two people that are committed to stopping something of yours here, Leo. And you know what is funny is because, like I said, sweetheart, stay in high vibration. Don't let anything try to break you here because someone wants to see you down. 
They want to see you down. They want to see you out. They want to see you hurt. Okay. First of all, keep your damn business to yourself. Okay. What they don't know, they can't touch. Also, for whoever this person is or these people, you may not give a damn about them in the first place. So you may not be too hurt when you find out who this is. You may already know who it is. I don't know. But someone here is literally trying to cause you some type of pain and ending here. And somebody's getting a thrill out of this. For some of you, somebody's old mama could be involved here as well. All right, give me messages here, please, and thank you. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody's trying to manipulate your feelings here, sweetheart. They're trying to manipulate your life. Somebody can't get you off of their mind here. Look at this. Okay, they're trying to do everything that they can to get inside your head. All right, to try to cause you some type of, you know, insecurities, difficulties, and trying to put up roadblocks and all this other kind of stuff here. Look at this. This is crazy. Uh, someone here also might try to come in and manipulate you and bring you some type of love offer that's fake as hell. Jealousy and envy. Look at this. This is crazy, Leo. This is really, really crazy. I don't know what your calling is on your life here, but somebody has, has like, if they got paid to do this, somebody's making some money. Somebody making some money. I'm just saying, somebody going to be rich. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm clarifying this divinity over here. All right. This message that's coming back for this person. All that destruction that they tried to cause is blocked. And then we got voodoo sitting here as well. With love offer and moving on. So, whatever someone here was trying to give you or trying to set up, trying to take. It's gone. Look, they don't want me to say nothing. Oh, my God. They want you to shut up, Leo. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Hold on. Mm. That's crazy how this keeps coming out. This has been going on for weeks. <laughs> for weeks. All right, literally, give me one on priest and mature man in reverse. Starseed is sexy, single, successful, and somebody's hurt by this, okay? This dark person here is hurt by this. Whoever this uh, priestess or priest in reverse, this person that was doing voodoo and all kind of spell work and all kind of stuff on you. Someone here is pissed off because, you know, you possibly left this person alone. You're looking good, feeling good, pentacles looking good. You know what I mean? Even if they're not, you're happy, you know? This person could be hurt because you don't want them. Somebody could be a little cray-cray, all right? Giving false information about you and all kind of things here. That's kind of funny. You know, sometimes you have exes that actually do that, that will tell lies about you to other people, especially their new supply, because they want them to look at you like you're, you know, you're a piece of crap or whatever. But then if you started telling everything that this person has put you through, the people that they are dealing with may actually realize that they're starting to deal with some of the same things, too. And they might start to realize that that person is full of ish. All right. Or you might be dropping some diamonds on their people and they might understand that, damn, this person is really, you know, kind of whatever, you know. So I don't know. And they also might realize that you don't have no reason to lie. It is what it is. So anyway, like I said, Leo, you got somebody here that's looking at you and they got some problems. Oh, Lord, Leo. Yeah, Ice King. Somebody's trying to act like they don't give a damn, but they do. They really, really do. You may have cut this person off. Don't deal with this person. Why? Because for one, they are childish. Absolutely. You know that they are a karmic. This person is manipulative. For some of you, this person may have given you a fake uh, love offer here. You know that this person is envious. They don't have a nice disposition at all, okay? And like I said, some of you, this person may have given you a fake love offer. For some of you, they may have actually even went so far to give you a fake um, proposal. I don't know. But either way it goes, you're not dealing with this person. For some of you, you might have children with this person. Ooh, 
with one of these people. I honestly think it's more than than one. Hold on. Let's see. What's going on here? For Zilio. What time is it? Alright, let's see. Alright, give me give me messages for Leo. What's going on here? Alright, so Leo. Somebody here could be a teacher. Somebody's watching your current job or what you're doing for work, what you're doing for money here. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. You might have somebody at your current job that's watching you here too. Uh, you got somebody here that is, oh wow. You got somebody here that's watching you that's admiring you here too. All right, current job, admiration, and teacher. All right, so I don't know if somebody is learning something from you here. All right, so that's for somebody here. Look at this, and I'm clarifying um, the star seed here. All right, this could be a Virgo for some of you. All right, so let's see what's going on with this obsessive person. Oh my! All right, somebody might be sexually obsessed with you, and they're giving you the evil eye, nosy as hell, all up in your business. This is a false uh, divine masculine or divine feminine here. All right, this could be somebody that claims to be uh, high vibrating, and they are really not. All right, let's see. Give me messages here, please, and thank you. For someone here, this might be someone on your past job here. This is someone that is uh, heartbroken. This is somebody that is, oh, they're promiscuous as I don't know what. All right, let's see. Um, damn. All right, something about this has, there's a soul tie here. Somebody's unstable? Loopy Lucy. Okay, what's going on with you, girl? Uh, give me... What the heck? Okay. Uh, give me... Okay. All right, for some of you, it says past job. This could have been a co-worker here. All right, for some of you, this might have been a boss. Or there's a boss here that keeps tabs on you here, too. For some of you, you could have, or someone could be a boss. They could be their own boss. This could be somebody that is uh, working with them. For some of you, this is a co-worker here. All right. Uh, this is a, a supposedly a friend. All right. They also might have friends and things like that watching you here as well. All right, give me more on destruction and this karma here as well. All right, friendly vibes. Somebody's coming off. Like I said, they're coming off like they're really nice and they're not. Oh, somebody could be going through domestic violence here. What's going on here? Oh, no. Somebody's vengeful. There's a warlock here. A witch or a warlock. There could be an aunt involved here. A younger person. A child. Uh-uh. Somebody here. This could be your child's aunt. And this person could be younger than you. Close to the same age group. This is also someone that may feel like you abandoned them. All right. This is someone that is very vengeful. This person is getting karma, though. All right. Give me messages here. This is also a liar. Oh, Lord. This person is just a whole prize. All right, anything else here? A hater. This person watches you. Why is that so? That is so freaking weird. You also might have a neighbor that keeps tabs on you here too. Um, or a neighbor that may know certain things about you. This is so weird to me that people actually watch you and they cannot stand you. Well, if I don't like your ass, the last thing I'm going to get ready to do is pay some, some of my hours to watch you. Absolutely not. What's going on with this uh, priestess in reverse switch out? Oh, my God. This person is an enemy. No, no ish. Anything else about this person over here? Stagnation. There's somebody's trying to. This person's trying to cause you some stagnation here too. Somebody here is trying to figure out how to stop something for you. How to manipulate something here? Oh my God. 
why do I get that this person is coming in with the love offer or is trying to figure out how to come in with the love offer is trying to block something in your life or just hang in there with me this person may be in communication with someone this sounds so crazy but they might be trying to set you up with somebody that they know to give you a false love offer here to get you kind of hung up and stuck this is weird all right somebody is definitely sending you mean vibes here this is an older person this could be somebody that's older than you all right and this is somebody that wants you to feel ashamed embarrassed all right look at this we got single and the thief here lusty vibes Leo, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know what's going on with these people, but they got some weird-ass vibes. And like I said, Leo, you got a lot coming against you. And I don't know why. It's not saying that you did anything to these people. But it kind of seems like to me like you got a jealous ex here or somebody from your past, co-workers, somebody's frenemies, whoever these people are. I don't know, weirdos, whatever. That's what we're going to call all of them. Um, but yeah, they're watching you, they're doing spell work, there's voodoo here, there's uh, emotional manipulation, there's jealousy and envy, there's obsession, there's death magic here, there's people trying to cause destruction and, and uh, trying to tie you down and keep you stuck and stagnant here, and all kind of things here, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, wow, and all you're doing over here is... Minding your own business. What's wrong with them? <laughs> I don't know. That's just wild. Uh, it's pretty freaking wild, I must say. You minding your own business. Literally minding your own business. You got people all up in your energy. Oh, Lord. You got evil people up in your energy. And I split the deck and jealousy was right there. Jealousy. Someone is jealous of who you are and the accomplishes, accomplishments you made. You got to take that up with source. <laughs> the hell? Uh, that's weird. All right. Anyway. Somebody is so focused on who you are. They don't even know who the hell they are. These people probably get around everybody and everybody they get around they morph into. Or mimic, you know, like a damn octopus or, or a chameleon. All right, so let's see. That's not weird at all. All right, let's see. Damn reptilian. All right, let's see. Give me, give me messages regarding these people. All right, power transfer. You have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. Um, I think you need to plug back in and take it right back. Okay, I'm just saying, mirror magic. Someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror image of you. Hmm, that's, that's, okay. All right, so somebody is definitely watching you. They're possibly trying to do everything that you do, okay, and probably trying to do it better. And it's funny that that literally turned around backwards, okay? All right, so, yeah, somebody is definitely jealous. Financial attack, someone is attacking you spiritually to negatively affect your finances. I told you that. Leo, I did a whole nother reading for you here, sweetheart. And, and uh, not being funny, you got some blessings coming in, like some huge blessings, okay? So I wouldn't really trip off of that if I was you. We have, what, woman holding the heart, the thinking woman here. You got contracts coming in here. There is some deceit. But also, you had women holding a, a coin here. Uh, there were some other cards here that was all money. And then it's crazy because hostilities was here too on top of some good things that you were actually getting here. We had the yin and yang going into balance here as well. A little bit of indecision here. That's what it was. Blossom in abundance. And is the other one here? No, it's not. Was it? it was blossoming abundance or something else that was coming in for you but anyway i did basically all three of uh 
these decks here and it's coming out really good the only thing is is that sweetheart you got some bs that's hanging around that you literally need to move from and like i said clarity of belief here for me was like changing that mindset somebody here is trying to dwell on some of this negative bs that somebody is trying to do or someone is trying to get you to dwell on it mm -mm, absolutely not baby what you dwell on honey and if it's rotten it will fester okay i'm just saying don't pay attention to that. You keep your eye on the prize. You got too many doors opening up for you. Too many blessings you're heading for to be concentrating on this trash right here, okay? Don't even do it. All right, so give me two more for this situation for Leo, please, and thank you. All right, so Leo, we have love attacks. Whoops, didn't I say somebody's coming in trying to give you a fake love offer? Love attacks. Someone is attacking your love relationships. They want to disrupt all areas of your life of your love life okay platonic and uh, uh romantic here like i said it's kind of crazy because leo somebody really wants to see you stuck and stagnant they want to see you hurt and desolate with no one uh to support you and turn to they isn't that crazy in every area of your life what is wrong with these people okay i might what's wrong with your heart honey you got a little lump of coal in there okay all right, so vibe clearing, you need to incorporate a, a regular habit of using protective herbs, uh, sage, palo santo, etc. to clear and cleanse your energy or clear and cleanse the negative energy from your surroundings on a weekly basis. So, um, and it says weekly basis, honey, you might want to do that just about every day. Stay prayed up, okay? Uh, because it kind of looks like someone here is determined to do this. And like I said, with these other cards here, you see you here doing your thing, doing what Source told you to do, minding your business, healing, and doing whatever, working. And then here's this person hating on you. And then all of a sudden, here's karmic justice, uh, the divinity, all right? Here it comes. And then all of a sudden, here you go right here. Here they go. And then here's karmic justice. So every time this person makes a move this person or karmic justice is right behind them i'm hearing every move you make okay every move you make so in other words um regularly cleanse stay prayed up stay in high vibration make sure that you don't pull yourself down in this sunken place with these people because that's where they're trying to get you if you notice that your mood is starting to change here sweet sweetheart recognize it Check it out and see if it's some valid feelings or whatever, especially if you're just sitting there minding your, your own business and all of a sudden you just feeling some type of way. Uh-uh, baby, that's not your energy, okay? Don't let nobody project that onto you, okay? Especially my empaths. You got to be careful with that, sweetheart, okay? Reroute that energy to something positive. If you got to pray, if you got to start singing and jumping around, put on some comedy or whatever, change that energy, okay? All right, and then backfire. Dark energy sent your way will be turned back to the center in a failed attempt. That's that karmic justice coming by, right? All right, talk too much. Someone will tell on themselves to reveal their true feelings and intentions towards you. They possibly already have. Uh, maybe not all at one time. In small conversations, you may have been listening here, sweetheart. All right, you may have uh, checked out the little eye rolls and the body language and all these type of things like this. And this other person over here, you know, they may not have treated you very kindly. So you pay attention to all of that, all right? Listen, all right? And also the words that are not spoken. When good things are going on in your life and things like that and people don't want to congratulate you and all this and all this negative energy is coming towards you, come on now. Pay attention to that. Come from amongst them. That's one of the reasons why you got big wins in your life. Keep that to yourself, sweetheart. Don't nobody need to know, okay? If it's just between you, your family, and God, that's all it needs to know, sweetheart. Even if you just got to keep it between yourself, hell, that's your win. Everybody don't need to know. All right, sun protection. Let the rays of the sun clear away any negative energy you may be feeling at this time. Absolutely. Go outside, get some vitamin D on that skin. All right, appreciate the weather that we are in right about now. Because Lord knows it's about to change, okay? So there's that. We're going to get a couple of these evil eye decks. And then I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. And if I have enough, that's crazy. Okay, remember, <laughs> all this envy and jealousy in these cards are coming out, right? 
I'm just getting ready to shuffle these cards and what's on the bottom of the, of the day. They're jealous of you and in competition with you. That's crazy. Baby, you need to be competing with yourself. Somebody is low vibrational and you got so much room to grow, okay, that you really need to be focusing on yourself, okay, getting to your next level instead of worrying about somebody reaching theirs. Because my God, my God, <laughs> this is the lowest of low. You got so far to go, all right? All right, so let's see. Give me messages for Leo, please, and thank you. Now I'm hearing that song, How Low Can You Go? How Low Can You Go? Apparently very. All right, so let's see. Give me messages for Leo in this situation, please. Can I get eight? Okay. Somebody's possibly been calling you from fake numbers and things like that, too. That's crazy. Because that has actually been happening to me a lot. So much to where I'm going to change my phone number. All right, let's see. I need one more, please. All right, so it says they mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. So this is somebody that possibly cannot keep their name or keep your name off their mouth here. And if this person isn't actually calling you by name, they're insinuating that it's you. All right, somebody is hooked on you. You have become their number one topic here, okay? I'm just saying, shit, you damn near famous <laughs> when it comes to this person. All right, you got groupies. All right, collecting dirt on you, okay? Well, okay, good luck with that. All right, fate. Uh, you are their karma. Do what you need to do. Leo, it looks like you are doing what you need to do. Return the sender, cord cutting, whatever it is that you need to do. Putting them at the altar, leaving them with God and your ancestors, whoever it is. Can y'all take care of this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. That was just funny to me because I just got a picture of the movie Ghosts when those ghosts were coming out of the ground and just snatching people to hell. I don't know. Somebody going to mess around and find out. Anyway, uh, tight hold. They're not over it. Who is this? Oh, my God. Get a life. All right. So, let's see. Somebody don't have no friends, no family. <laughs> Somebody, some people, they can't. They don't have a pet. Somebody to get them somebody, some, some attention, something. All right. Fake numbers. Trying to get a hold of you through an unknown number. All right, and then also we have 777, luck is on your side. I've been using that number all day today. That was really funny that came out. All right, and then we have Messi. They want to throw hands with you, but won't make a move. I'm going to be quiet. All right, so Cyberbully, trying to belittle you and put you on blast with lies behind the scenes, but not a face-to-face. All right, also, somebody here could be trying to put you on blast here, too, and not showing their face as well. I don't know, but somebody here, um, they're protecting themselves behind the screen. Oh, Lord, I have grown so much. I am not going to lie, because I'll pull up. <laughs> yeah, that, that used to be me. I'll pull I'll show up unexpectedly. Anyway, all right, spying on your family. Yes, yeah, somebody crossing the lines here. Hmm. Anyway, we don't leave that alone. All right, mental breakdown. I'm sorry, make mental breakdown. My God, mental breakdown. They are losing it without your energy. All right, so we got an energy harvester here. So I don't know, Leo. You got, well, I do know you got some crazy ass people that don't have a life. All right, that are just full of you know evil and contempt and all of that and maybe they get off on this I don't know obviously but anyway we don't let them do what they do because that's what they do that's what they were born for as a matter of fact hell that's probably their lineage you know you are doing what you came here to do you took the baton for your ancestors and maybe you got some people here to come from a long line of you know darkness and maybe these people are not the ones that are actually going to break the generational curses maybe they're the ones that's going to continue it you know i don't know but leo as far as i'm concerned i see you being content 
moving forward, um, not paying these people no mind. All right, you're not taking no wooden nickels. <laughs> so, I'ma just say, stay in your lane here, sweetheart. Okay, stay prayed up. Keep your space cleansed. All right, keep your mind free of clutter. All right, and I'ma put it to you like this. Know when to take some downtime, but stay busy, okay? And the reason why I say that is because you're very creative. You can always come up with something, you know? If you're not helping yourself, you're helping somebody else, my love. Helping somebody learn, helping somebody heal, helping somebody grow, you know, and things like that. And then also, an out of mind is a devil's playground, all right? We don't give that sucker no time to sit down in there and go, you know... You know you ain't never going to make it. Mm. And the other side is going, never would have made it mm. without you. Okay. I would have lost it all. Mm. I'm just saying, okay, so stay prayed up. I'm sorry. I'm going to act the fool up in here. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, let's get some spirit messages and then I'm going to get up out of here. Okay, because I'm talking. All right, give me messages for Leo. Okay. All right, so Leo, the person in your thoughts is so grateful to have you in their life. You are a gift to them and their heart's treasure. I don't know who that is, but okay. All right, so complacency. Uh, we must recognize inaction, inaction causes stagnancy. Absolutely. And that came out here too. I forgot in what card. Okay, so anyway, embrace the need to step into the situation and let go of fear surrounding it. Absolutely. What's it? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, let's see. Everything happens for a reason, and soon you will understand why. Absolutely. Even this attack here. All right. Um, Leo, honestly, one of the things I think here is, like I said, you're walking in your purpose here. I also think that you're being prepared for a greater mission here. And also, I think you're you're being accosted by these entities here because you're going up to a level here where it's probably going to get much worse. Okay, so I think this is just the beginning. All right, and I think you're being trained here as well um, to concentrate on what it is that you need to focus on and not get distracted on the things that don't matter, okay? Because after all, if you do what you're supposed to do, regardless of what the adversary is trying to put in front of you, sweetheart, what source put in front of you is always going to flourish, okay? We just have to make sure that we stay in alignment with that, okay? The adversary is going to adversary, okay? I'm just saying it is what it is. But you don't have to fight that battle, sweetheart. That battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. That's all you need to remember, okay? All right, so some of you could be, uh, you know, kind of going through some ascension sickness right now. And it says what you are experiencing is a physical manifestation of your soul's journey to a higher consciousness here, okay? So you're seeing things from a different perspective, handling things from a different perspective. You know, you just move in differently here. And then on top of that, some of the people that you used to vibe with and chill with and things like that, they may be like, you know what, I don't know who the hell that is. The thing is, is that we're all supposed to be learning, growing, and evolving, you know? And maybe it comes a time where certain people fall away, you know? I don't know. Or maybe it comes a time where you just, you know, you're separated for a moment and then you come back together and you guys vibe on a different level. I don't know. That's between source. I don't know your journey, sweetheart, okay? I just know what's going on in mine, Okay. So with that being said here, sweetheart, you take care of yourself. And then it says, uh, surrender, release the ego, and be in the flow. The divine has a much more powerful agenda than your own. Absolutely, sweetheart. Don't go making plans. Cause, hmm, you may be rerouted to go, what the hell? I was going this way. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, but I need you over here, right? Okay? So there's that. So, Leo, yeah, this is what I got for you right now, honey it's a mess but you know what we are always blessed right so in spite of the mess i'm just saying 
So how about that? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to leave this right here. I will be back in a couple of days to give you guys another reading when I have more time and things like that. And uh, hopefully if I can sleep tonight, I'll get up early in the morning and uh, do another sign. Because, yeah, I'm kind of behind. So, yeah. Hmm. But anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with your girl. I greatly appreciate y'all. And I will holler at y'all later, okay? Bye. <laughs>